Hey guys, how's it going? In this lecture, we want to continue working on the login view controller. So what's going to happen is that right now, when we click on the get started button, when we click on the login button, nothing is happening here. So we want to uh, include the logic where if we click the login button, and if this is a successful login, uh, we want to dismiss this login view controller and direct the user to the main tab bar controller. Alright, so let's just get started over here. Let's come over here to the uh, login view controller and let me open the login view controller uh, panel on the right. And I realize that we have not created the IB actions for the sign up button and the login button. So let's just quickly do it now. Uh, okay, so let's drag the sign up button. Let's click on control and drag and release it over here. And I'm going to call this a sign up sign up button tap hit the connect button and i'm going to do the same for the login button as well all right so it's going to be login button tap all right hit the connect button all right i'm also going to create a state over here so private uh, let is successful login and right now I'm just going to set this to be true. All right. So we will explore uh, what if this is false and then we'll probably show some kind of error over here. All right. So under the login button tab, if it's successful login, we will perform a set of action. If it's not, we will perform another set of action. All right. So let me close this and let me open it over here. All right. Okay, so what I need to do is that I have to come to the onboarding view controller over here because when this uh, login view controller is being dismissed, this page is actually the onboarding view controller. So what I want to do is to create a protocol over here. All right. So, okay, the requirement that we have is that when I click on this login, this is going to dismiss and this page is going to make the transition. So the question is, how can I get the child view controller to communicate with its parent, which is the onboarding uh, view controller? And one of the methods that we can use is actually the, the delegate pattern. All right, the, 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 the protocols and delegates. So over here, I'm just going to call this onboarding uh, delegate. All right, and in this onboarding delegate, I'm going to create a function over here and it's going to be called show main tab bar controller. All right, so I'm going to uh, inherit this onboarding delegate in the onboard, on the onboarding view controller. So let me just come over here to the end. Maybe let me bring it down to all the way to the end of the file and let me do an extension. And I'm going to say this is onboarding view controller. It inherits the onboarding delegate. All right, let me see if this is what we call it. Onboarding delegate, I think it's fine. And then we are going to inherit to the function that we have just created above, which is show main tab bar controller. All right. So let me just clear the space over here. And as we know, uh, how, how do we show the main tab bar controller? We have created already the presenter manager dot shared, and we can just show the main tab bar controller. You see, it's really easy when we refactor the code constantly and we make this uh, easy to understand. All right. So what I want to do right now is that I'm going to go to the login view controller and I'm going to create a delegate over here. All right. So it's, it will be a var delegate. And this will be of type onboarding delegate. All right. So let me just make sure that we don't create a retain cycle here. So let me inherit class over here. And let's come back to the login view controller. And let's make sure that this is a weak. All right. So let's come over to the login button tab function over here. And uh, let's uh, work on this is successful login block. So if this is successful, then I'm going to get the delegate to call the show main tab bar controller. And what this does is that um, when this happens, this child, which is the login view controller, will communicate to its parent to get him, which is the onboarding view controller, to call this method, which is to bring the user to the main tab bar controller. All right, so at the moment, this delegate is actually nil, and we have to set this. So what can we do? So under onboarding view controller, let's come over to the uh, to the segue over here. So we are actually uh, 
we're actually opening up this um, lock and view controller via a segway okay so what we can do is that we can actually uh, put in the prepare for segway method over here so if segway dot identifier equals to let's copy this guy over here all right then what do we do we do uh, if let destination equals to segway dot destination as uh, lock in view controller Okay, now we have access to the lock-in view controller. We have created a reference here through the segway. We can say destination dot delegate equals to self. All right, it's gonna be as easy as this. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly just put a breakpoint. Maybe I don't need to put a breakpoint because this is already executing some code. So let me just quickly run the simulator over here. Alright guys, I noticed a little mistake over here, so I am going to uh, stop the, the simulator from running. And I realized that I need to first dismiss the uh, lock and view controller first before I can uh, uh, transit the user to the main tab bar. So what I can do is that, firstly I need to dismiss, okay let me just put this in pseudocode, I have to dismiss the lock in view controller first, and then after that, show the main tab bar all right so we have this uh logic over here already but we have not handled the dismiss of the of the uh, lock in view controller so what can i do over here i can actually do a check so if presented uh view controller equals to um let me check my loads very quickly all right guys i'm back so let we can do it this way we can check what the presented view controller is okay so if let login view controller equals to self dot presented view controller as login view controller then what i can do is that i can dismiss this login view controller dot dismiss true and then under the completion itself i can just put this thing over here Alright guys, so before I do this, maybe let me just comment this out first and let's ensure that this piece of code runs. Okay, let me click the play button and to launch the simulator. Alright, so let's click on the get started button to, to launch the lock-in view controller and right now I'm just going to click the lock-in button and notice that this page uh, has been dismissed and, I'm, and this child, which is the lock-in view controller, is actually asking its parent to dismiss the child all right so the moment once this child is dismissed which is the lock and view controller once this is dismissed we want to present to the main tab bar so let me uncomment this and let me just run this and meanwhile i'll just clear the empty spaces okay let's click on the get started button to launch the lock and view controller let me click on the lock in page uh, on the lock in button all right so this works and uh, i think this looks uh, good let me just remove the uh, empty spaces and the comments that we don't need so guys i hope that this is easy to understand uh, in essence we are we are using the uh, child to inform the parent to dismiss itself and then directing to the uh, main tab controller all right, guys, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to leave them down and I'll be sure to answer them. And guys, this is uh, all I have for you in this lecture. I hope that you gain something from it and uh, especially the, uh, the delegate uh, pattern here as well. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.